All right, let's try some examples of finding similes, metaphors, or examples of personification, okay? Look at number one. His life was an open book. His life was an open book. Okay, first, ask, let's ask ourselves, what is being compared to what? And in this sentence, his life is being compared to a book. Well, life, a human life and a book are two entirely different things. So we are comparing things that are not alike, but we're not using the words like or as. I'm not saying his life was like an open book. I'm saying his life was an open book. So if we look back at our definitions at the top, if we're making a comparison, not using like or as, then that's a metaphor, okay? So it's a metaphor. It means, what well, I don't mean it's literally like an open book. I mean that there's nothing hidden. We can read everything. We can see everything about his life. So his life was an open book. Okay, number two here. My love is like a red, red rose. This is from a poem by Robert Burns. What's being compared to what? Okay, his love is being compared to a rose. Well, his love, the person he loves, is not the same thing as a rose. A rose is a flower and his love is probably a human, right? So they are different things. We're, compa we're comparing things that are not alike. We're comparing unalike things. Now, are we doing that using the words like or as or not? So, my love is like... A red red rose so we're making a comparison using the words of unlike things using the words like or as so that's a simile okay all right take a look at number three the flowers danced in the breeze the flowers danced in the breeze so can flowers literally dance do they have feet and muscles? They dance around? No. So I'm not speaking literally here. I'm speaking figuratively. I'm using figurative language. But I'm not, what am I comparing flowers to? I'm comparing flowers to what is it that can dance? Humans dance, right? So I'm comparing the flowers to humans. I'm comparing the flowers, something that is not human, to humans, something that is human. <laughs> okay, so I'm comparing the flowers to humans. This is personification. Why don't I just say the flowers were blowing in the wind, right? Because it doesn't clearly explain whether that's a slight breeze or whether that's they're being flattened, right, by the wind. So we want to, if we want to be more um, vivid, make sure what we're describing is more clearly seen by our reader or our listener. Figurative language is how we do that, right? We use figurative language. I don't literally mean the flowers are dancing because they can't. They're stuck in the ground. But if I say they danced in the breeze, it gives me a better picture of how they're blowing around. Okay? All right. Number four. I wandered lonely as a cloud. This is from a poem by William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud. Um, so what is being compared to what here? What is it that's being compared to a cloud? It's I. I I'm like a cloud. I'm wandering around in a lonely way. So obviously, I am not a cloud, right? A cloud is different from I. So, but even though, now, I'm, I'm comparing I and a cloud, right? But I'm using the word as. I wandered only as a cloud. 
So because I'm making the comparison of things that are unalike, using the word as, that's a simile, right? Okay. Now, don't get confused. Just because I've got a human in this sentence, it's not personification. Because I'm not saying the cloud is like the human. I'm saying the human is like the cloud. Okay? If I were saying the cloud wandered across the sky like a lost person, <laughs> then I would be comparing the cloud to a human. That would be personification. But if I'm comparing the human to a cloud, that's not personification. In this case, it's a simile. All right? Okay, here's my favorite. The train slithered up the mountain, letting out a hiss as it reached the top. Hmm. So what's being compared to what? Well, what is it that slithers and hisses? A train doesn't slither and hiss. Slithering means sliding across the ground. Right? Buddy, hush. What slithers and hisses? What slithers and hisses is a snake. So here, even though it doesn't say snake, I'm comparing the train to a snake. And I'm not using like or as. Right? So it's not a simile. But I am comparing the train, which is not alive, to something that is alive, a snake. So in this case, I am personifying the train. I'm giving the train traits that belong to a living thing, a snake. So this is an example of personification. Okay? All right. We're going to call it a day here. And you can look at the other ones, see what you think. As usual, if you have questions, bring them to me during our online class meeting at the normal time. Or you can reach me through Canvas and chat with your questions. All right. Thank you.